Inspired by the beautiful moonlight and the fresh air in the early morning, we visit Sonun Temple, sitting on the edge of Pusol Mountain. The temple's name literally means meditation in the clouds. This place is famous for temple stays. It also has a museum that exhibits many of Korea's national treasures. They include Buddhist statues, altar portraits, and a seated gilt bronze bodhisattva statue, which is treasure number 279. On the cliff near the temple, there is a 13-meter tall carving of Buddha. If you happen to stay at Sonun Temple in May, when Buddha's birthday is celebrated, you will be able to see diverse Buddhist events, such as holiday rituals and a Lotus Lantern Festival. In the winter time, red camellia flowers bloom enticingly behind the temple. March in Gochang always starts with the red camellias. Visitors can take a stroll in the green tea fields anytime. A group is already taking a walk early in the morning. The green tea variety raised by the temple monks is indigenous to Korea. The premium green tea raised at Sonun Temple has a rich scent. <laughs> the scent alone seems to purify the mind. Then, how does the tea taste? Just then, the monk invites his guests to the tea room. Facing the tea fields, this place has all necessary utensils for a tea ceremony. In a single cup of green tea is a tranquility that's hard to experience in a big city. Outside the Sonun Temple in a pine forest, we come across travelers who are doing a healing program. It was really good though, right? Yeah. People who apply for this program eat natural organic food, stroll, and meditate to shake off stress and prevent fatigue and illnesses. If I lived in Seoul, it's not much so where I would have to speak the language. Uh, meeting new Korean friends here, building new relationships. But here, you don't meet foreigners, you just meet people who are from Korea.